like prisoners, yeah, and we can be alone Or we can make a mess like no one knows and risk it on our own Spending the money that we don't have cause we don't care not all Living like kings with broken strings and face down to the floor It's after 7, honey. You must have slapped the off button on the alarm clock in your sleep. Well, you can't be late for school again. I know. Ever since I turned 12 in August, I've had serious trouble falling asleep. I'll toss and turn, my thoughts tumbling, and I won't drift off until dawn. And lately, my dreams have been haunted by those glowing red eyes. Let me open your drapes, sweetie. Okay. Oh, would you look at that ugly day? clouds and it's raining yay another beautiful day mom okay I realize that most people say my parents Gabby and pretty much everyone normal prefer warmth and sunshine but gloomy weather seems to be best I've always felt a little bit different from other people period sausages and eggs for breakfast <sighs> this ugly quilt and comforter if you want to know was picked up by my mom she said that, that my room was too gloomy, so she painted the walls light pink, and she got me new comforters. Of course, I wasn't happy about that. I like dark, mysterious colors, and purple, and basically stuff like that. Um, let's get out of bed. Mom and I had fought long and hard over this purple rug. She hadn't understood why I didn't want a cheer cheerful yellow one instead. Thankfully, Dad had said it was important for me to express myself creatively, and I agreed. I want to be a designer when I grow up. Maybe fashion, or interiors, or both. My mom probably won't approve of this look, but who cares? I mean, it's my look. Time to face the day. Oh, honey. At least won't you try wearing pastels one day? Mom, you know very good and well that I will never wear pastel colors. And... You know, well, you know why. Yeah, because you're like my, my, like, yeah, you like my mom. If you want to know, I'm the complete opposite of my bubbly, outgoing parents. They prefer pastel colors, but I prefer really dark and mysterious colors. Breakfast looks really yummy, Mom. Thank you, sweetie. You know, I try. Try what? It, it's a phrase. <laughs> Young people usually don't get it. <laughs> Uh, you know, you're just calling yourself old. No, I'm not! <laughs> uh -huh. Mom usually goofs up like that, and she tries to rephrase it by acting all, Oh, no, I didn't! No, I didn't! Yeah! But honestly, I don't buy it for one minute. Actually, there wasn't one minute where I actually bought it. Is Dad working on a new cartoon? We're putting the final touches on the Creatures of the Night exhibit. The opening's only two weeks away. Mom works at the American Museum of Natural History, which is a few blocks from our apartment building. The museum is most famous for its dinosaur bones, but it also hosts cool exhibits on things like butterflies and sea monsters. Mom is in charge of these exhibits, and every time one opens, she and Dad go to a big party at the museum. 
This year, for the first time, Mom was allowing me to attend the opening gala, too. I couldn't wait. And you better not forget about our special guest arriving this evening. And, um, who would that be exactly? <sighs> you don't remember? Your great aunt Mario is coming to stay with us, all the way from Romania. She's been a long distance consultant on the exhibit, and now she's going to help us with the opening. Right, I did recall hearing about Great Aunt Marga, my mom's aunt, who lived in the small European town that mom was originally from. My dad was born in New York City, like me, but mom came over to America with her parents when she was a baby. I was really little when my grandparents died, so I know basically nothing about my European heritage. Gabby comes to pick me up so we can walk to school together. Unfortunately, she often ends up going ahead without me because I can't wake up on time. Gabby is extremely punctual. Good morning, Miss Paley. Good morning, Gabby. Hello, lazy head. Good to see that you're up for one morning. Put a can in it, would ya? Oh, sorry, if it's my fault that you can't wake up on time. Ugh. Can we just go to school or something? Fine. <laughs> I'll be over here in this corner thing. Okay. Bye, Mom. See you after school. Remember to eat corn! Instead of a goodbye or a kiss from your parents when you're leaving to go to school, all I get is, remember to eat your corn from my mom. I mean, seriously. I don't even like corn. But I have to put up with it. Okay. Bye, Mom. See you later.